okay so is that on okay so namaskar everyone and i'm back again i don't know like many students could like be bothering with this type of uh, confusion so let's see here like today we have a uh, law of indices methods right now now this method is very much useful not only in math while solving in your like uh, i don't know like whatever uh, in math as well as like in physics or whatever it is not bound math is not bound to something right we can use it anywhere so it is very very important so now like i have written it in an elaborative way to save our time see here so what the law one says it says that multiplying indices okay now uh, in multiplying indices when multiplying indices with the same base now this thing should be in the mind now if the bases are same now see here this a and this a both the base is same okay now if both the bases are same add the powers now this is the power power is m and here the power is n isn't it so now base are same but the power are different doesn't matter at all what we have to do we have to simply just uh, take like give one base which is a and we have to add the powers so m plus n this is all that is all done that is our answer now that is a rule also now when we will do like a mathematical problem we can we have to sometimes the bases will be not same so in that way like we have to manage the bases and we have to make the bases same so that we can do the calculation we will see it further now see here in law 2 dividing indices now here when dividing indices with the same base subtract the power so in multiplication it was addition and in subtraction it is simply subtract the powers nothing else and always remember if base are same then only see if it is a here and a into a and here is m and n okay what if here will be like a to the power m into b to the power n can we do this one no we can't do it because the bases are see here same base bases are not same it is a here and it is b here and it is different so we can't do it here but here we can do but here we can't so that is why the basis should be same that is the condition the same is true for here also the same example i will show you again so this a to the power m divided by a to the power n is there right now see here now if what will happen if a to the power m divided by uh, c to the power n so now a and c have the different base so it can't be subtracted here okay it can't be subtracted at all so the first condition is the same base and the second is the subtract the power so a divided by m m my uh, m a to the power m divided by a to the power n so it will be like a to the power m minus n so always subtract it there are a lot of, there are seven uh, indices we will uh, seven laws of the indices method we will see it step by step and that is the way we have to do don't get confused in that because most of them do the basic confusion happens here only because of the base part you know and sometimes uh, people used to also get confused here like what will if m and m so we will see those things in the next video thank you so much